coil over install that's happening today. We actually have sunshine and blue sky. Yesterday was a horrible, like nasty, rainy day. Today's actually it's cold, but it's actually like nice weather. Today, the wagon is going to be lowered. I cannot wait. We have the KWV1s back here all ready to go. Get a good look, boys. This is the last time we're gonna have all that gap. It's going away today. So we're currently on our way to Ramstar right now. I'm so thankful and fortunate to have a place so close to be able to use their shop and the lift and the power tools because I don't want to do this outside because it's really cold right now. So very thankful for that. I took the precaution yesterday. I sprayed all of the bolts that I can get to with PB Blaster, just let them soak. They didn't look very rusted, but I just don't want to deal with annoying rusted out bolts or anything that's stuck or seized up. So I sprayed them yesterday, I'll spray them again today, and hopefully everything just comes up like it should. This, I'm not even gonna say it, but it shouldn't take too long um, but I'm starting this job very early, it's only about 9 a.m. That way I have all day to fight with whatever bolts or this and that, but hopefully it goes well. I have my stretch spreader loaded up, we have the coilovers, should be good. All right, just went and got checked in. We are in bay number one, let's get it. All right, we are in, let's close this down. So I've gone ahead and I spun these down as far as it will go. That way once the car is lowered and this gap is gone, we're not getting like stuck in the lift. All right, everything looks good. We are ready to go up. Here. Nice and slow, make sure I make contact properly. I had to adjust this back on a little bit, but now we should be good to go. There she is. So the plan of attack is to start in the front, work our way to the rear. We have one 19 millimeter nut on the top of the strut and then one 18, which is a pinch bolt at the bottom. And then it's just a stretch spreader to open up a little bit and then hopefully it's not too much of a fight to actually get it out of there. All right, let's grab our tools and get started. Should be, there it is. up the wheels off our first 18 is right here you can get a impact on one side and the socket is going to hold it i went around and i sprayed the entire car with some liquid wrench again i said i sprayed it last night and let it sit overnight but i'm gonna spray it again just in case and then we'll go ahead and get started all right so with our 18 millimeter which is this one and this one here that is now out right there i'm gonna go ahead and get the strut spur in the strut spur goes in down below there's a little like uh, like a fin piece it goes below it i'm gonna spread it this way push it open a little bit and we're gonna do the 19 millimeter at the top here and then also don't forget to pull off your lines from the uh the strut here so if you aren't familiar this right here is a strut spreader it's kind of like a really thick like flathead almost but what it does it goes in and it turns to the side and gives you more room to pull the strut out of this knuckle right here. So you can do this job without one of these. Um, it just takes a lot longer and you have to pretty much beat the knuckle down off of here. Uh, this makes it a lot easier. So if you don't have one of these, you can do it, but I recommend getting one of these if you don't have one. All right, so better look right there. You can see the strut spreader's in, a little slot underneath the fin and the strut. And you simply turn it to the left or right to the wider angle and it just pushes it apart just enough to make it easier to get out. So you can see right there, I simply tapped it a few times. You can see the line where it's already come down. This might actually come out really easy. I barely tapped it with the mount right here and it's already dropped that far. So this might just work out pretty well on this side. Oh, I forgot my own device to pull this off. Hang on, don't wanna break these. All right, with that down like that, we're gonna go to the top now and undo the 19 at the top of the strut. All right, so with your cap off, if you still have it, there's a nut right here on the top, similar to how the Mark 3s are. I thought it was a 19, it's actually a 21, or at least on my car, 21. So we're gonna blast this off, and then we're almost, almost out with the first side. Ah! 
came off like nothing. I know some people will show you the, the tool with like the open end wrench and put an Allen key inside it, but thankfully with air tools, it makes it so much easier. So that's now off. We're just ready to pull this thing out of here. All right, so I was trying to avoid doing this, but unfortunately, I had, so what happens with the stock strut, since it's a bit longer and the spring's not compressed, I had actually pulled out the inner axle from the trans over there, to get more play, because it hits on the bottom of the frame right here, but it's falling out. So I actually loosened up the, um, the tie rod end here, I loosened up the brake caliper here to move it a little bit so it's not pulling too hard on this. Oh man, it's out. Now with a aftermarket coiler, you probably can get this out without having to do all this, but I just didn't have enough room without pulling the axle off on the inside. So at least this is now free. And there is our first one. Oof, what a pain, but she's out. Now to install our new KW here, just do everything you just did, just in a reverse. All right, and with that, the most time consuming side is now done. The driver's side and the two rear should be much, much faster. But our first one's in. Oh, I'm so excited. This side should go much faster because on this side you can actually drop the whole hub down far enough to pull this out that I haven't pulled the axle out. So this side should be much, much easier. All right, so of course the side I said was gonna be easier is actually being just as difficult. The bolts on the back side is undone, the strut bar is in, but I cannot get this strut to slide out of here. And I've been pounding on it, but no luck. All right, so I'm gonna let this soak for a little while longer. I'm gonna work on the back. In the back we have two up top right there. And then one right here. This bolt goes through. This took literally two seconds. You have two 17s here and one at the bottom. And then you just press the whole thing down and pour spring out. Old strut versus the KW strut. Normally you have to pull this piece off your factory strut and put on the new one. But since these are used coilovers, I already have it on there. So all you need to do is pull off this little cover and put it on this one. And we have this piece off of the factory spring. Pull this little cap off that goes right in there. And then your bottom perch goes underneath like so. And there's also a bolt to the bottom, so pull this bolt in. You actually bolt this one to the bottom where that spring sits in there. This sits bolted in and then your spring sits on top of this. All right, so I decided to use the bump stop off of my factory struts because you can see the ones on the KWs were pretty trash and beat up. So I pulled these ones off and put this one on. I cut the, like the third one, this one. I cut the bottom one off, so now we're left with this. Nice new bump stop, ready to go in the car. Making good progress, have the rear strut now in up there, and also the, the springs that I had to use, this nice tall like, floor jack to press up the rear beam to get the bolt to go through here. If you don't have one of these or a lift, you can probably use like, a floor jack to do it. Um, but now this side's done. One more side to go and then go back to the uh, the front side, which is still probably seized up, honestly. It's kind of funny to see this side has a KW, this side is still stock. Look how much higher this one sits than that one. And this isn't even compressed yet. Oh, I can't wait to see this car low. issues getting this spring to come out but I remembered I tightened up the entire passenger side so I went over there under the strut and now both sides are loose and hanging down and now there's plenty of room to pull the spring out. So fun fact, make sure you have both sides undone so the spring comes out otherwise there's just no way. I'm going to do the same thing with this one, pull the bumps up off of here and swap with the KW and then in the car goes. Alright everything's been swapped over, top piece here and the bump stop. this one's ready to go in the car. Officially done, struts are in, springs are on both sides. It looks like it's completely even. Now I must go back to this annoying front side. That was all seized up. Hopefully it's uh, done playing games now. 
All right, so I finally got this side to start moving down. The issue was it wasn't actually stuck. I forgot to take the that bolt right there that holds the sway bar. You have to pull that out, otherwise the control arm can't drop. And I totally forgot. So now, this will just be a breezy guy there. After lots and lots of pounding with my nice big hammer there, this strut is finally free. Oh my goodness, let's go. All right, so surprisingly enough, that was a fairly easy install. I was pretty much just taking my time, chilling the entire time. There was no rush to like try and, you know, speed through it. So fronts are done, rears are done. Um, everything is good to go. Bam, got the KWs in there. So now it's time to put the wheels back on, lower it down and see how she sits, whether you need to adjust it or not. But I think it'll be okay. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Yeah, my, my cat fell off by the way, which kind of sucks, but I'll go back on. Let's see how she sits. Be low, be low, be low. Oh my god, I think that's a lot lower than I expected. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, all right. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Dang. That's so sick. I love it. Dude. That's so, so, so sick. Honestly, I was expecting it to be... Oh, I guess this front side's a bit higher. Mm. It looks higher, but the body line kind of matches. I'll have to see. I'll have to drive it around, around a little bit and see. Dang! That's so sick. Alright, I'm going to clean up real quick, pull the car out, and see how it looks. But, like, dude, <laughs> it's lower than I thought, and it looks sick. Boys, let's take our first look. I'm really excited to see this thing. All right, for it. Dang, with the sunset and everything, dude, it looks so so good. So this side looks like the rear is a little tiny bit lower. I had to raise the rear, lower the front, but for right now it's not bad. I'll probably come back tomorrow and adjust it some more. Let me see this side over here. She looks so good low. Dang. All right, so this side, the front looks higher. This front looks higher than the driver's side. Um, but again, for right now, it's okay. I'll probably come back tomorrow and adjust everything out and get it all the same. I'll probably bring the fronts down because um, right now the rear support is maxed out. I, I can either raise the rear or lower the front. I'll probably just lower the front, honestly, and make it all that height. But like, man, it looks good. It looks really good. I love it. I'm so glad the wagon's finally low. Look at this thing. Oh, finally. cold beans at that shop and it's like working in a t-shirt and it's nice and warm and then it's freaking 27 out here <laughs> it's, it's cold but the car i think looks really really good next up is some wheels but like for now the car is low it looks great like i said i have to adjust it a little bit probably just lower the front to match the rear but the car looks good i think it looks great um, i'm super hyped that it came out so good and honestly the install actually went fairly smooth aside from getting stuck on the driver's side which was my fault because i didn't pull the um the sway bar off but other than that this actually went super super smooth i have to go to the post office now real quick and then get some food because i'm starving and then we'll go back home also update we are at 677.5 can we make it to 700 we're getting really close to e but can we make it all right so initial thoughts driving on the kw v1s it feels great like obviously it's a it's a bit stiffer than stock um, but it's tight in the corners like you want it to be, but then just normal cruising, it's nice. It's not rattly, it's not super aggressive, it's not killing your back. You still feel nice and comfy, but you, when you want to turn the corners, the car has like no body roll, it's nice and planted, but it's still comfy to drive. Like honestly, good job KW, good job. Look who it is. The first thing she asked me, she said, is it lower than my car? And I said, yes it is. Oh. It looks good, it actually looks really good. You oh jealous or what? I know, I see some wheels and it's good. 
I, I had to adjust the front to match the rear, but like, I wasn't expecting it to be that low in the back. Okay. Doesn't it look good though? Oh, cool, yes. All right, let me get your wheels now. Get away from let me. Let me get your wheels real, just for a second. I just want to see I, I, I'm just saying, let me just borrow the wheels for just a second. I just want to see. Get out of here. They would look so good just tucking under thing. I mean, your car looks great, don't get me wrong. Shut up, I believe it. <laughs> Boys, once we get the rear front lip side skirts and rear uh, diffuser, this thing's gonna look so killer. And also some wheels, but man, look at the two. He's not looking, not squinting at me like that. <laughs> I might actually try and spin these fronts down when I go home. I think Steve might have my spanners. I think I have a spare set. I don't know. I would go back to the um, the auto hobby shop, but the lift that I was using, which is the low one, uh, my buddy's on it now, so it's not a big deal. And you go back tomorrow or I'll lower them today, either or, but the car looks good. I'm so excited. This thing drives so smooth. I'm so impressed. Also, my gas light's on. We're at 682.5, so I'm already on the way home. I'm not getting gas now, but we're gonna really push this out. We'll see how far we can go. Hope we don't get stranded nowhere. This thing rides so nice. I love the KWs and Tony's GLI, and they feel great in this car as well. I love them. This side actually seems pretty even after driving it home. The front might still be a little bit higher than the rear, um, but on this side, it's kind of hard to tell, but the front's still a little bit higher. I'm going to see if I have any spare spanners. I'm going to try and lower the front down just a little bit just to even it out. Oh, but it looks so good. Actually, I lied. We're going to leave the car how it is for today. We'll fix it tomorrow, but I got this in the mail, and this is a note saying the mail came, but they missed it, so they dropped it off with my neighbor at uh, house 42. So I think it's the part for this car, which would be so, so cool. So I'm going to try and find this. We'll be right back. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, in this box right here is one of the final pieces for the Bora interior. Now I'm not gonna show you the entire thing, but I'll give you a little sneak peek to hold you off until tomorrow, but oh, we finally got it. I am so excited. Ooh, I'm so excited. I think it's taped well. All right, are we ready? Give it. Oh. Like I said, I'm only gonna give you guys a small little sneak peek. Maybe you see it already, I don't know. Ooh, okay, that's enough, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. Tomorrow you can see this. But we also have a package here that says uh, for Miley. What we got in here? I wasn't expecting this. By the way, this is from the same guy, uh, Jelly, who sent me, um, okay, Mr. Tape, can you not? who sent me the wood pieces for the inside of the Bora. What we got here? Ooh, he sent me some new chrome pieces for the, um, the vents in my car. I lost one somewhere in my car after it got shipped over here. One of my vent pieces was missing. Ooh, and he sent me a nice, a nice new set for Miley. That's sick. So thank you so much for these. Thank you so much for this. Ooh. I'm so excited. One more, one more sneak peek. One more little peek. Oh my god, it's so good. One more, ready, 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 ready? Oh, that's it, that's all you get. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you are excited to see the wagon finally low. Tomorrow we even it out, but the car is low and it looks so, so good. If you're excited for what's in that box right there that's going in the car tomorrow, oh, I'm so excited. Again, thank you, man, for sending me this. Huge, huge shout out. Oh, oh my goodness. If you're excited about all this that happened in today's video, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. Don't forget, be thankful for the day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.